What's up? Another angle on this. Is like, this kind of gay angle, isn't it? This feels kind of gay. <laughs> uh, new angle unlocked. <laughs> All right. So I am sitting on my couch, and I realize that I have to actually film a video today. Um, I'm going to talk about trying to socialize with others because I have no social skills. And a lot of dudes my age don't have as much social development as they should. A, because the internet changes up a lot of stuff in high school. You don't have to walk up to the girl anymore. You DM her. That kind of thing. So you get a lot less physical in experience with social interactions. Like, I have... I'm perfectly fine if you... If I have a buddy and he introduces me to somebody, I can talk to them perfectly fine. But if I have to walk up to someone in public and introduce myself, I'm nervous. You know? Especially if it's chicks. And especially if it's about interactions. And afterwards I'll sit there and it'll be nighttime or something. Normally nighttime. I'm lying in bed and I'm like, I should have just talked to that chick. I see her all the time. She's at the gym. I'll just talk to her next time. And then she's literally right next to me. And I can't fucking talk to her. And I'm fighting and I'm fighting and I'm fighting my own brain and I just can't. And I realize what I need to do is I just need to stop thinking in that moment. Just select an action and take it. So the rule I've devised, I actually went down to Provo today. And just walked around Main Street. And I started trying to interact with people, right? So I'm like, okay, well, I'll just talk to random people. So I met the dude named Eric. I asked him for, uh, like, restaurant recommendations. I said I was new in town. Because I have to lie to be able to be comfortable interacting with strangers, apparently. Still was uncomfortable, but worked pretty well. I'll just keep interacting with people, I guess, as practice. But as well, what I devised then... Was I have a rule. I'm not going to go out of my way to talk to every single chick that I see in the street. Because I was like at the grocery store afterwards and I saw some chick. And I was like, okay, well, she's attractive enough. I mean, I'm not attracted to her. But she's attractive enough. I could talk to her. And then I'm like, no. I'm not interested in her in any way. I'm not going to talk to a girl I'm not interested in just to see if I can get her number, which I will never use. That's a dick move. So my rule that I've created is if someone seems interesting to talk to, I got to go talk to her. If I'm attracted to a chick, regardless of who it is, I got to talk to her. I don't fucking care if I mess it up because it's the rule. I have to do it. That's how you have to push yourself sometimes. You have to just make a rule. That seems batshit insane. Mm. Oh, are you attracted to a chick? Go talk to her. Regardless of the social consequence. Regardless of... Like, obviously, you're in the street or a mall or somewhere where you're never going to see the chick again. You go talk to her. It's pretty pretty low consequence. But, like, at the gym, that chick. Um, if I talk to that chick and I fuck it up, it's a little awkward. I'd st I still have to talk to her. That's the rule I've set. If I find her attractive, I have to go up to her now. <sighs> Which I find her attractive. So I have to go up to her. Doesn't matter if I mess it up. Arguably, I can go over there. That's the other thing, is I have to eliminate the idea of messing it up as a negative outcome. Because I think of it and I think of, oh, well, if I talk to her and I mess it up and I don't get her number, that's a bad thing. No, it's not. You messed it up. You don't deserve her number. You get what you put in. What you get out equals what you put in. You put in dog shit, you get out dog shit. So it's your own fault. What are you afraid of? The consequences of your own actions? The universe is ultimately fair at the end of the day. So I can talk to this chick. And if I bungle it, I bungle it. If I don't bungle it, I don't bungle it. And at the end of the day... Both of us are still alive. We still have our legs. We can still walk around. We can still breathe. Our hearts are still beating. 
We're just a little awkward around each other. That's fine. Um, yeah, Sean? Fine. Why are you calling? Um, can I call you back later? Like in three minutes or something? All right, but One of the two people who ever calls me in my life. My mother and father. Oh, well, why don't you come over and do some work for us? Sorry, um, I've realized that being around your failing marriage isn't exactly social interaction. It's a very slow sinking ship. Might not sink at all. It's taking on water, but it's not going down. But I digress, just beyond the point. Um, so, my goal now, at this point, I'm willing to just start showing up to events on my own, without any friends. Oh, there's some dance going on? Show up, no friends, nothing. I'll just show up, talk to people, try and make friends. And eventually, I'll make some, you know? And at the end of the day, you literally just have to realize... Okay, if you fail, what are the consequences? Zero. Some person you're going to see maybe 20 more times in your life if you're lucky. Let's say even at the gym, right? Because people are always, oh, don't walk up to girls at the gym because you're all sweaty and they're all sweaty. And you're just trying to both work out. Fuck it. If I see a chick at the gym and she's hot, why shouldn't I talk to her? I'm not going to see her outside the gym. So you're saying if a any woman I see in the gym is basically out of bounds. Fuck no. And here's the thing. I got buddies who are always talking about chicks right now. Because they're teenage boys, dude. They want to they wanna talk about chicks. They're horny all the time, you know? I don't give that much of a shit. I mean, it bugs me sometimes. Especially if they make jokes and shit. But, um... I don't give a fuck about having sex with some girl I don't care about. Otherwise, I would have done it already. I don't give a fuck about romantic relationships. I just need practice interacting with women. Because when I'm 28 and I actually want to interact with some women, I have to already have practice. You can't go in not knowing what you're doing at 28. No one will be as forgiving. Whereas 18, yeah, it's not as forgiving as 16, but we all still have no idea what the fuck we're doing. I don't think anyone really has any idea what the fuck they're doing, no matter how old they are. Yeah. See, the only reason I want to approach chicks and like get phone numbers and stuff, there's no romantic expectation. And I think that's part of what messes me up when it comes to going after girls, is the romantic expectation. Oh yeah, well I don't want to go and try and get her number because I might mess up and I want her romantically. No. Just don't take anything personal when it comes to women. That's also, A, it's a not much nicer way to live your life. But B, women understand that that is better. Women will actively prefer a man who doesn't take things personal. If a man comes up to a chick and tries to get her number and she says no, and he just smiles and says, okay, thanks, have a nice day. As opposed to getting pissed off. Which guy is more likely to become attractive to this woman in the future? The guy who got pissed off? Or the guy who made things awkward? Or the guy who just went, okay, cool, have a nice day. And proceeded to go about his normal business. That guy. Because that's a healthier human being. You know? You know what happens, happens. It's an expression of faith in how the universe works it's not a reason to do nothing it's not a reason to go oh well that chick didn't come up to me and ask for my number what happens happens no it's well I walked up to the chick and she, she said no okay cool what happens happens it is what it is dude just move on especially cause I need the practice interacting with chicks Arguably, I need to practice interacting with dudes. 
I just need to interact with other human beings. So I'm, I'm a little behind socially, I think. Um, I think that's really all to talk about. Adios.